Hello, Trev here. I'm just doing another video on heat pumps and specifically um, heat pumps in the snow. So for the last few days, it's been very cold in England and it snowed um, in Oxfordshire. So it's got down to minus temperatures. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give an update as to how my heat pump is going. Thank you again for all of um, the questions on the different heat pump videos. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll put a link at the end and do make sure you watch to the end to see all of um, the content on this one. So as you can see, my garden got a good kind of covering of snow and it was enough to make snowballs and um, little snowmen. Um, I saw some people had kind of done um, great things on the way um, to school where I teach. Um, so yeah, the heat pump was working away. So as you can see, there's um, quite a bit of building work going on in my house. You can see um, the skip and you can see, yeah, snow all around. So the heat pump's been working really hard to keep um, the house warm and it has succeeded in doing that. I've been nice and warm. Um, this little video I've kind of, um, let me just see. Yeah, so this little video I'm showing you inside, I can't really show you obviously the heat, but it was a hot radiator when I was touching it um, and I just had a little play with the <laughs> I didn't do this very well because um, I pressed sort of the wrong buttons, but you can see that the, the inside of the house is 18 and a half degrees. Generally what the, the heat pump will do is it will kind of fluctuate between a sort of a degree above or below the sort of temperature you set. So it does sort of work to try and get sort of an average sort of temperature around what you set. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see, it's got to a, a, a nice warm temperature and yeah, it was um, working perfectly fine. Also, because I'm having building work, a couple of my ra radiators are, are, are out of action at the moment. So I was very pleased with, um, with the result. Um, so it still sort of sustains even with um, slightly less radiators. So it's, it's working hard, but it is doing its, um, doing its job. So if, if I look at your comments um, from last time, yeah, so um, Pete replied, the settings are not right. So someone else, Steve, replied last time that um, his house was cold and he wanted it removed. And yeah, um, uh, Pete Stevenson um, replied to that as well, saying the settings aren't right. So if you've got a heat pump and it's not working, then do, do contact your supplier or like I say, let me know. I'll try and put you in touch with someone who can help. But the, the heat pump should heat your house and it should heat your water and it should um, work ultimately. And another reply comment. So in terms of someone last time wrote about the pay, what's the payback or you never get a, um, you never get a reply for, for payback. And yeah, Pete again has put, what's the payback when you spend 5,000 pounds on a holiday? And yeah, the concept of payback is a little bit, um, a little bit obscure really, because it's more like investment. And I think you're investing in a green, you know, a, um, a better energy source than, than gas. So there's definitely something in that um, rather than getting the money back um, completely from your <laughs> purchase of a, a heat pump. Like you wouldn't sort of think if you've got a gas boiler, when's the payback going to come? Or in terms of that, but but I can understand that I can understand the the point of view in terms of when I bought the solar panels. I did think, how long is it going to be before I paid for myself, before it's paid for itself, so to speak? This is with the feed-in tariff, and that um, encouraged me to get um, to make the transition into it. So you could sort of see in terms of energy cost savings, how long will it be to um, to cover it, cover its cost? But I don't think probably heat pumps going to be that. Um, that great in terms of that it's, it's the, the money saving is not that significant um i would say from my experience um but it is quite cheap because of the government subsidies i was actually talking to someone the other day who lives locally to me and he unfortunately had a um a bad quote i think from a from a building company that charged something like 12 grand or something to update his radiators which seems a bit extortionate and he he was um very much of the mindset that it was a supply and demand thing and they were overcharging him so i hope that isn't happening i will check that up because um now that's been flagged to me and it's a company that i know um but but hopefully you should get a fair deal on you know things like plumbing and um you know if you need to update your radiators and your piping needs to change from the microbore to the to the slightly fatter pipes as you can see behind me in fact that sort of slightly fatter sort of maybe kind of um, like thumb thumb width rather than like ha half of that, which is microbore. So, um, you know, that shouldn't be 
it is a, and it is an expense and updating radiators you can see i've got a nice big radiator behind me i can't uh, twist my <laughs> twist my hand but um yeah i've got a nice big radiator and that does cost money so there there are costs in updating a system but they are also investments anything that you invest in insulation or um that sort of thing with your house is going to save save you money all um, all the time. And this is regardless of whether you use a heat pump or a different heating system. If you stay on gas, but you um, improve your windows and get double glazing or get wall insulation, that's going to be great for your cost in gas. So so in a way, the insulation is the is the biggest thing to actually to do to, to save you money. So if you're looking for, for payback, so to speak, insulate insulate your house and and that's the, the best thing to do um so a couple more comments uh put a spirit level on it to see if it's level um uh eye level equals noise one level equals noise i don't really understand so john's written a comment put a spirit level on it to see if it's level and um if it's not level it yeah so um i think it's in response to sort of <laughs> the noise of the heat pump it is noisy but it's not that noisy and it's not problematic um, I think they're they're the points. So um, I'm not trying to pretend it's not noisy because it is noisy, but it's only noisy sort of if you're very close to it and you can set it so it's on and off at different times, those that sort of thing. And um, the noise in the, um, the indoor unit, which is not normally indoor, I, I met someone that put the indoor unit outside, but then there's other problems with, with it being colder or whatever, but, but that makes sort of a more kind of buzzy noise. You might hear a buzzy noise now, this is a bit a builder. <laughs> it's not that the, the pump noise now in, in the background, but um, there are noises. I'm not sure about using a spirit level, but, but certainly there, there is noise and I'm not trying to pretend there isn't noise. So let's go back to the comments. Mobile tone put air. Heat pumps are useless. Had one installed, gone back to gas after a year. Okay, if you like your hot water lukewarm and your heat indoors, never um, went above 16 degrees on full settings. So um, hopefully you can see that my house was um, at 18 degrees inside and I'm sure it can go higher than that if I want, wanted it to. But so um, so my heat pump was, was doing doing that and in terms of water yeah the water's hot it's um hot water i mean when i run a bath i have to put cold in with with the hot because it's too hot um well i mean it, it's it's as i set it hot <laughs> but um but also you can put the the hot water so it comes on more if you need it more uh, which is similar to uh, you know a gas gas system so i'm not really sure where um this person's come from let's have a look at their they've got a few videos it's always i'm always a little bit nervous about like where these people kind of come from that hate heat pumps so much like if you really hate heat pumps why are you searching for heat pumps or going to a small content creator such as myself and looking for their videos on heat pumps and then putting such a direct comment that they hate heat pumps um you know that kind of baffles me a little bit because um yeah i mean it's sad if they've had a sad experience um yeah a bit of a mixed content i can't really work out what their channel's about but they've got a few subscribers got a few videos so um arthur is his name so i've no doubt you're a real person arthur but i don't really understand why you would come to a small heat pump <laughs> video and and post well um, information that isn't real isn't um, factual unfortunately um so you might have had that experience so your experience is you couldn't get your hot water more than lukewarm that's really sad because, you know, no one wants to live with lukewarm water. I don't know why that was and I don't know why you didn't um, sort of talk to the installers about that. And also the, the house wasn't hot. And I also don't know why that was because the house should should have been hot. So both of those are sort of, yeah, that's a bad experience. To go back to gas, though, I mean, having updated the system, why didn't you look at some other um, energy sort of solutions after that if you wanted to change from a heat pump to something else or indeed like like my suggestion would be is to try and get your heat pump actually working because it obviously wasn't working which is really sad so I'm, I'm sorry about that and I can uh, put you back in touch it sounds like you've you've um, jumped ship and gone back to gas though so you know maybe that's the way you want to do it and um, you know comment on <laughs> small content creators who are writing about heat pumps <laughs> um, so yeah as a, a little summary though, so my heat pump has been heating away absolutely fine in the below um, zero temperatures and the snow. Oh, there was one, I don't know if I did a little video of it. Let me see if I can find a little video. So 
the back of the heat pump does frost over, but it has a setting which can thaw. Um, so it kind of like it, it um, has a, a setting in its in itself that sort of thaws the back because frost obviously because the heat pump is outside it will get frosty it'll frost up and then it will um, go onto this setting that kind of melts the frost um, in order for it to kind of keep working efficiently. So a lot of people are saying about is it as hot as a gas boiler and like I said in the last video the aim of a heat pump is to get sort of the, the temperature consistent consistent in size so you get kind of a, a nice warm feeling but it's not like boiling hot if I touch my radiator now um, it's sort of um, it's gone off it's sort of lukewarm now and it was hotter than that before and that is gradually heating the room space and if it needs to be it can get hotter and if it needs to come off to save money it'll go off so it's sort of like regulating all the time um, which is working for me Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Do click subscribe if you've not already and then I will make some more content. Please do write more um, questions if you want to and I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.